you again. What do you want? I suppose you want to talk to me and find out what's on my mind. Alright then. It's Remembrance Sunday this week. It brings back bittersweet memories. With all the pomp and the circumstance of the day, standing there with your shiny medals, people saying how proud they are of you as they shake your hand, all the time wishing they were back home with their feet up, watching the telly and nursing a brew. Is it me, or are they just a bunch of hypocrites? Oh, I couldn't do what you did. Well, of course you couldn't. You're just happy watching the news and saying, Oh, those poor people. Why can't we do something? Well, I did do something. And I saw combat. The closest kids get to seeing combat these days is playing Call of Duty. There's a big difference between seeing combat and being in combat. Believe you and me. I was in Iraq, you know. And we thought it'd just be another day. We were sent out to do a Hearts and Minds mission. You know, went over the natives. But between villages when we drove over an IED. It's a homemade bomb if you didn't know. We were in a vectored armour vehicle. And they're meant to be IED proof. Yeah, right. The first thing we knew is that the floor disappeared and the vehicle turned into a bloody aeroplane. And if that wasn't bad enough, as we tried to get out, the bastards started shooting at us, aiming at the injured as we tried to pull them clear. We shot back, of course, and we called in an airstrike. <sighs> that stopped them. When support finally arrived, I was trying to hold my best friend's guts, and his wife had just had a baby, and all he kept saying was. I'll never see my daughter. I'll never see my daughter. Ten of us left the base that morning. Only two of us come back. I lost eight of my brothers that day. And I still hear their screams when I try to sleep. You know, I'm glad that we remember those who have served and lost. These people are heroes. They sacrificed their lives for queen and country. It's the least that we can do to show our respect. I make sure that I observe the two minutes of silence, no matter where I am. Last year I was in the middle of a shop Many people joined in the two minutes of silence and we all stood what we all stood there silent. During the silence I noticed that a select few were still shopping. How bloody disrespectful is that? They only have to give up two minutes of their life every year. Is it really too much to ask for? It's disrespectful to say the least. These people gave their lives for this country and in return we only have to give them two minutes of our time to remember them. Is that too much to ask for? Well, bugger off. I want to be alone. <laughs>